So Anthropic just dropped a bomb, and I mean a good kind of bomb, with the release of Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And seriously, this is a big deal. A really big deal. We're not just talking about another incremental update, a slight tweak here or there. This thing represents a whole new approach to how we think about and build AI, and it has the potential to change how we interact with technology on a fundamental level. They're calling it a hybrid reasoning model. And that seemingly simple phrase is the key to understanding why it's so incredibly exciting and why it might just be a glimpse into the future of AI. Let's break down what that hybrid reasoning actually means, because it's not just marketing jargon. Think about how you think, how your own brain works. There are times when you react instantly, instinctively, almost without conscious thought. You see a ball flying towards you, and you duck. You hear a loud noise, and you jump. You recognize a friend's face in a crowd. That's your system one foot thinking, as it's often called in cognitive science. It's fast, intuitive, and largely automatic. It's what allows you to navigate the world without constantly overthinking every little thing. Then there are other times, times when you need to stop, analyze, and work through a problem step by step, deliberately and consciously. You're trying to solve a complex math problem, or debug a piece of code, or plan a complicated trip. You're weighing different options, considering consequences, and using logic and reason to arrive at a solution. That's your system two feet thinking. It's slower, more deliberate, and effortful. It's what allows you to tackle complex challenges that require deep thought and careful planning. Now, traditionally, most AI models, especially large language models, LLMS, have been really good at one of these types of thinking, but not so great at combining them seamlessly. Some models are fantastic at generating text quickly, mimicking human language patterns, and providing instant responses. That's like system one. Others are designed for more complex reasoning, logical deduction, and problem solving closer to system two, but they often operate in isolation. You either get a fast, intuitive response or you get a slow, deliberate one. Claude 3.7 Sonnet, it blends them. It's designed to integrate both system one and system two, thinking in a way that's much more natural and frankly, much more human-like. This isn't just about making the model faster or smarter, it's about making it more flexible, more adaptable, and ultimately more useful in a wider range of real-world scenarios. And what's incredibly cool, especially for developers, and this is a point I really wanna emphasize, is that you get control over this balance. You, the user, the developer, can actually influence how much the model thinks about a particular problem. You can tell the model, hey, don't spend more than this many tokens thinking about this. That's a game changer. That's revolutionary. Think about the implications of that. Imagine you're building a customer service chatbot. Sometimes, a customer just needs a quick answer to a simple question. What's your return policy? You want an instant, system one-like response. But other times, a customer might have a complex issue that requires troubleshooting, multiple steps, and careful consideration. You need the model to engage its system two thinking. With Claude 3.7 Sonnet, you can fine tune that balance on the fly for each individual interaction. You're not locked into one mode or the other. No more waiting ages for a simple answer or getting a rushed, inadequate response to a truly difficult question. This level of control is unprecedented and it opens up a whole new world of possibilities for developers. It allows for the creation of AI systems that are far more dynamic and responsive to the specific needs of the user and the context of the situation. But as I mentioned earlier, it's not just about speed, it's about how it thinks, the quality of the reasoning. And this is where Anthropic is making a really, really big point, a point that I think sets them apart from some other AI companies. They're explicitly stating that they're focusing on real world applications, on the tasks that businesses and everyday users actually need rather than just chasing benchmark scores on abstract theoretical problems. They're saying, look, we're not just trying to win competitions or impress academics. We're trying to build AI that's actually useful in the real world, that solves real problems, and that helps people do their jobs better and live their lives more effectively. This is huge. This is a philosophical shift that I think is incredibly important. And it's something I've been hoping to see from the AI community for a long time. Let's talk about those benchmarks though, because even though Anthropic is downplaying them a bit, they are impressive. It's not that they're ignoring benchmarks altogether, it's that they're prioritizing the right benchmarks, the ones that actually reflect real-world performance and utility. And while Claude 3.7 Sonnet might not be at the absolute top in every single benchmark category, it's not about dominating every single test. It's excelling in the areas that truly matter for practical real-world use, like agentic coding and tool use. These are the areas that are gonna have the biggest impact on how we use AI in our daily lives and in our work. Think about things like interacting with software, automating complex tasks, coordinating multiple actions, and actually doing things in the real world, not just generating text. That's where Claude 3.7 Sonnet is really shining, and that's where it's setting itself apart from other models. 
The SW eBench, Software Engineering Benchmark, is a perfect, and I mean perfect, example of this. This isn't some obscure academic test. This is a benchmark that specifically evaluates how well a model can handle real-world coding tasks, the kinds of things that software developers deal with every single day. It tests the model's ability to understand code, debug problems, write new code, and generally function as a helpful coding assistant. And on the SWE bench, Claude 3.7 Sonnet is killing it. It's not just a small improvement, we're seeing significant gains over previous models, including some of the biggest names in the AI world, the models that everyone's been talking about. This isn't just theoretical. This isn't just about bragging rights. This translates directly to real productivity gains for developers, to faster development cycles, to fewer bugs, and to better software overall. To give you a concrete example, imagine you're a developer working on a large, complex software project. You're trying to fix a bug, but you're not sure where the problem is. You can use Claude 3.7 Sonnet to analyze the code, identify potential issues, and even suggest solutions. It can help you understand the code better, write new code to fix the bug, and even test the changes to make sure they work correctly. This is like having a super-powered coding partner who can help you with every step of the process. And they're not stopping there. Anthropic is actively pushing the boundaries of what AI can do in the realm of coding with their Claude Code project, which they've released as a research preview. It's like having a coding partner, a coding expert, right there in your terminal, integrated directly into your workflow. This isn't just about generating snippets of code, it's about understanding the entire code base, the context of the project, and the goals of the developer. Claude Code can analyze your repository, provide insights into its structure, suggest changes, write tests, automatically fix bugs. It's basically an AI coding assistant on steroids, and that's not hyperbole. I'm seeing some early demos of this, and it's genuinely mind-blowing. The potential for this to transform the way software is developed is enormous. Imagine being able to tell Claude Code, hey, I need to add a new feature to this application. Can you help me figure out how to do it? And the model can then analyze the existing code, identify the relevant files, suggest changes, write the new code, and even test it to make sure it works. This is not science fiction. This is happening now. But the capabilities of Claude 3.7 Sonnet extend far beyond just coding. They're exploring how AI can perform in complex, open-ended environments. Environments that require planning, strategizing, and adapting to changing circumstances. The bigger picture here, the overarching theme, is that Anthropic is aiming for AI that truly augments human capabilities, that enhances our abilities, and that helps us achieve things we couldn't achieve on our own. They're talking about a future where AI is not just a tool, but a partner, a collaborator, a coworker even. A future where AI can take on complex tasks, freeing us up to focus on more creative and strategic work. They have this roadmap, this vision, where they see AI assistants evolving over time, first becoming helpful assistants, then becoming true collaborators, working alongside us on complex projects, and eventually even becoming pioneers, tackling challenges that would have been impossible for human teams to solve on their own, pushing the boundaries of science, technology, and human knowledge. They're talking about AI that can help us cure diseases, develop new energy sources, explore the universe, and solve some of the world's most pressing problems. This is not just about making our lives easier. It's about making the world a better place. So yeah, Claude 3.7 Sonnet is much, much more than just a new model, another iteration in a long line of AI releases. It's a significant step forward, a glimpse into the future of AI, a future that's focused on practical applications, on real-world problem solving, and on a more collaborative and symbiotic relationship between humans and machines. I'm incredibly excited to see what people build with this, what kinds of applications and innovations emerge from this new technology. It's a truly exciting time to be alive, to be witnessing this rapid progress in AI, and to be thinking about the possibilities that lie ahead. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you've had a chance to try out Claude 3.7 Sonnet and what your experiences have been. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts, your feedback, and your ideas, and I'll be diving even deeper into this in future videos, exploring specific use cases, comparing it to other models, and discussing the implications of this technology for the future. So stay tuned, there's a lot more to come.